So next we are going for another problem that is parabola. So the question is to construct a parabola when the distance of the focus, the focus is nothing but what? The fixed point from the directrix. So directrix is nothing but what? A fixed straight line. Okay, is equal to 50 mm. And draw the normal and tangent at a distance of the point 30 mm. Okay, the distance of the point is how much? 30 mm from the directrix. So in this question, he has not given the eccentricity. Okay, you have, you have observed in this question, he has not given the eccentricity. So just he has mentioned that it is a parabola. So if it is a parabola, the eccentricity value will be equal to 1. So that means the distance from the focus and the directrix will be equal. Right? So now we will find out the point, the focus point. So the focus is, is at the distance of, of about how much? 50 mm. So first of all we need to draw the directrix line, vertical line and then horizontal axis. Okay, now we need to find out the fixed point. That is the focus point is at a distance of 50 mm from the directrix. It is at a point how much? 50 mm from the directrix. Okay. And now, with the bisecting method, or we can use it by the scale, we need to find out the midpoint. So, first of all, pointing out the focus point. And next, we need to find out the what? The vertex point. So, I am placing it out here and finding out the vertex point. So it is the midpoint between these two distance. So this is the vertex point. And now we need to measure the distance from directrix to the focus. So it is the distance is about how much? It is about 50 mm. It is about the distance. Is it is about the distance of 50 mm. Right. So now, what we need to do is, we need to draw a perpendicular line to this point, the vertex point V. So we need to take out the protractor. So place it at the point V. Okay. On this horizontal line. And point out this 90 degrees. Right. And now, you need to draw this perpendicular line. So next thing is we need to find out the point F dash. So take out the compass, fix it tightly and open the compass and measure the distance of V and the F with the help of the compass and cut down the arc here. So that what do we get? We get the point F dash. Okay? F dash. Now, you need to join this F dash and this intersection point. Right? So everything I have drawn with the blue sketch pins, you need to do the, the, with the 2 edge grade pencil. You need to draw it with the 2 edge grade pencil. Okay? Only the curve. The curve that is a parabola, you need to draw a thick and continuous line with the H-grade pencil. Okay? And now, we have found out all these points F dash. And we will take normally a uh, number of points on this horizontal line. So I am taking a point as 1, 2, 3, 4, so 5. It's, it is more, more enough for drawing the parabola. Okay? So now, what you need to do is take out the drafter. Take out the drafter and you need to place it. It must be parallel to the directrix. It must be parallel to the directrix and draw the vertical lines on this one. Next is the two 
and next is the three four and finally the five okay so you got all the points one two three four five such that the intersecting on here are the points of one dash two dash three dash four dash and finally the five dash and now what you need to do is you need to plot the points of the p1 p2 p3 p4 p5 and vice versa of p1 dash p2 dash p3 dash p4 dash p5 dash okay right so next what you do is take out the compass so tighten it properly and measure the distance of one and one dash okay measure the distance of one nine one dash and place it at the point f and cut down the arcs on this one and the one dash okay one and the one dash such that they are intersecting at the points of p1 and p1 dash p1 and p1 dash next measure the distance of the 2 2 2 dash okay 2 2 2 dash place it at the f point and cut down the arcs on the 2 2 and 2 dash such that they are intersecting at the points of p2 and p2 dash next is place it at the 3 and 3 dash with the help of the compass so measure distance of 3 and 3 dash with the help of the compass and plot it at the point of p cut down the arcs on the 3 and the 3 dash such that they are intersecting on the points of p3 and p3 dash next take out the 4 and 4 dash point so measure the distance of the 4 and the 4 dash and place it at the f point and cut down the arcs such that they are intersecting at the points of P4 and P4 dash. Okay? And finally, here the measure distance of phi and the phi dash. Place it to the point F and cut down the arcs. Okay? So they are intersecting at the points of P5 and P5 dash okay now join all these points P1, P2, P3, P4, P5 P1 dash, P2 dash, P3, P4 dash, P5 dash such that in order to get the parabola so take the hitch grid pencil okay so you need to draw a thick and continuous line so join all these points must be thick and continuous plan okay right thick and continuous plan and the other question he has asked is what at the point of 30 mm from the directrix okay at the point of 30 mm from the directrix so take out the drafter fix to this axis parallel to this axis and measure the distance of 30 mm so it is coinciding at this point here on this curve okay it is coinciding at this point on this curve and point this point as m take this point as the m and draw this distance So this distance it is about how much? 30 mm. It is about 30 mm. Okay. So now 
join this point F and M. Join this point F and M. So with the help of the set square or the help of the protractor, draw a perpendicular line. So take out the protractor. So place it at the point F and point out this 90 degrees here okay and now join this point says that it is intersecting at the point T okay now join this T and the M with H grade pencil. Okay, we need to join it by H grade pencil. So place it at the point M and the T and join this T and the M such that we get the tangent. So keep this as the T dash. T and T dash is the tangent and draw the normal on the point M with the help of the protractor. So take the protractor, place it at the point M and parallel to this T and T dash point and join and part the 90 degrees point in order to get the normal so so when you join it you get the normal that is EN and the EN dash okay this is how to construct the parabola and its normal and tangent.